guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then hit that subscribe button because I upload new videos every Sunday and Wednesday, so double the fun. It is that time of year again, the season of giving, but also the season of trying to save your money because sometimes it gets a little rough this time of year. So anyways, I am going to give you some budget-friendly gift ideas that people love because they're thoughtful and like who doesn't like a thoughtful gift? I personally love it, but I love saving money more. That makes me sound like a bad person. Do you know what? It is what it is. That's just who I am. <laughs> Health, fitness, happiness, and saving money. If you're interested in these gift ideas, then stay tuned. So the first budget-friendly gift idea is a framed photo. It seems so simple, but people love photos. We got these small ones done for our grandparents a couple years ago, and then we got bigger ones done for our actual parents. Um, so I actually picked up some frames from, I think like a thrift store. I forget which one it was, but anyways, this big one is $1.99, and this one was $1.99. It's like, they're prime. I mean, there's like a little few nicks, but I could also paint it. Um, but yeah, I went to like Walmart and they were way more expensive. So anyways, I'd get frames at thrift stores or the dollar store has really good ones. Those are really nice. And then to actually get the photos done, you can either take them on your iPhone because iPhones take incredible photos. You can get a friend to take them if they have like a nicer camera. And then the third option, which is what we did, is we found someone that was local, someone that's maybe starting out, which is always a good idea. And you can always request a mini shoot. So a mini shoot is usually like six to 10 edited photos. So it's a lot cheaper. So you're not like putting out $300 to get photos done. So that is always an option. So I would definitely check local, put a Facebook like a post out asking like, is anyone doing a mini photo shoot in my area? Um, there's lots of options and it's nice to have photos for one yourself as well to keep, but I always get them printed like at a photo center like Walmart. So that is gift idea. Numeral one. Gift idea number two is a movie basket. If you have friends that are huge movie goers or they like to stay in, they love bottles of wine, this is like the perfect gift for them. I like to put in like staple pieces. So I like to put like a bottle of wine, some popcorn, a couple movies, chocolate, hot chocolate, and you just shove it in a basket. You can get clear wrap from, I think the dollar store actually, uh, pretty much anywhere. And you can put a big bow on it. It just makes it look so nice and it's really inexpensive. And it's also a good couple's gift. So you don't have to buy like two different people separate things, which is awesome. Saving that money. I'm gonna be so proud of myself. If I could find like a money sound, I'd put it here. But if it's just like the sound of my hand, that means I failed. I probably failed. Anyways, that is number two. So number three is baking jars. I personally love this and I think they look really cute. You can grab a mason jar, you can put some flour, chocolate chip, sugar, brown sugar, whatever you need for that recipe and you would wrap it up with a cute little bow with the instructions and it's awesome. And Kyle's coming in right now. So, I need to stop filming. <laughs> hey! Another thing you can do with mason jars is pasta sauce. I really love this idea. I think it's really cute. So, when my garden was in full swing, I made a ton of pasta sauce with my mom. And then we actually just put a little fabric on the top and then a little string. And then we just put a little tag on there. You could put like something like to and from. All that, I just have organic sauce and then when it was dated. Uh, but anyways, this is a really cute idea as well because like, who doesn't love homemade pasta sauce? Like it's an awesome thing to have. So this is the bigger jar and then I also made little small ones too. So really cute and just an extra idea. Number four is a personalized ornament for the tree. So I really like this idea because it is inexpensive. You can buy them at the dollar store and you can paint something. You can buy them at like a craft store. Michael's has like the clear ones. So you can actually put things in. I've seen people put like tinsel or like glitter inside, which is really cute. I've also seen like people paint like baby's first Christmas or um, my mom actually bought me like a key and then she actually wrote on it and it said first apartment and she gave it to me when I had my first apartment. <laughs> obviously. And uh, just like little things like that where you just have them forever, I think is really, really cool. So again, inexpensive and a nice idea. So gift number five is actually a painted gift. So I got these canvases from the dollar store. This one was $3 
and then this acrylic paint was only two dollars it's like the most inexpensive gift ever and there's so many ideas on pinterest like i'm not a painter i am not artistic whatsoever but i've made some pretty cute stuff over the years so it'd be nice and also it means a lot when it's like from someone that you care about so try it out go on pinterest do easy ones do not overwhelm yourself with something that's like so complex that it's like it sets you up for failure because you don't want to feel bad about a picture that you're giving out but anyways it's always a good gift idea especially for someone that is good and creative that would be ideal <laughs> but for the rest of us still do it so last but not least is a photo center gift I personally love these gifts. I like getting pictures on mouse pads. I like scrapbooks. You can get blankets, like giant blankets with like your dog on it. Speaking of dog, Bane, what are you doing? Are you trying to ruin my video? <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, you can get so many things on it and I think that's really cool. You can get calendars made with just a bunch of pictures on each month and everything is just really cute. So. That's also an idea. It's a bit more expensive sometimes, but there's also sales during Christmas and Black Friday, so catch it on a deal. And also, shameless plug here, if you haven't checked out my website, you should check that out right now. I will link it in the description. I have a couple ebooks for sale, a five day fat loss challenge, and I also have a fitness progress tracker. It is bomb. I love them. I use them all the time and they're really inexpensive. My one is $1.99 and my other one is five bucks. So it's like for $6.99, you got two books of amazing content so anyways if you haven't check that out hit the subscribe button like this video do all that fun stuff and i will see you in my next video